What kind of a look did you want your Richard to take? Well, everything that uh, happens in this movie, however modern it appears, however unusual to an audience it is to see Shakespeare done like this, done like a, a Godfather movie, d done like a, a 30s thriller, uh, we do nothing in the movie that doesn't spring directly out of what we assume Shakespeare wanted and we ass those assumptions are based on the words that Shakespeare writes. So when Richard III tells the audience, as he does straight to camera, uh, that he was born half made up, that was a clue to me that uh, the deformity, of which is quite obvious that Richard had, uh, is only in half his body, that he'd had maybe a stroke at birth. So my face is going to be pulled down with the aid of a very brilliant uh, makeup by, by the guy who did um, uh, Robert De Niro's makeup in Frankenstein. Nothing that's complicated in my case. But the, there is the deformity of the spine, the familiar Richard III hump. I have a useless left arm. It's all on this side of the body, and my limp is on, on the left uh, foot. This side uh, is hopefully um, as good as we can make it. And uh, uh, not that Richard has got a good side uh, in, in his soul, but uh, outwardly uh, he has. And whenever he looks in the mirror, as he does very early on in, in, in our movie, uh, it's to always regret that he looks as he does uh, and know that uh, he is unattractive to women uh, and he's had a very unsatisfactory sex life. Uh, if you think that's some 20th century psychological reading of the part, not at all. It's exactly what he says in, 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 his, in his opening speech to the audience. Uh, and these are the springs of his, uh, of his uh, ambition and his need to prove himself to the world. Uh, and um, these, these are the springs of uh, the terrible things he does in order to achieve power.